Hey guys, it is the Sante. And hi, I'm Nicole. Uh, from Two Tears in a Bucket List. Yes, Two Tears in a Bucket List. Yeah, I don't know why I'm, I'm tired. We're so tired. Yeah. Hey, I'm losing my voice if you don't notice. And I've got a great tan if you haven't noticed. So today we wanted to talk about a really cool uh, thing that we did this weekend. Yeah, so we took a trip to the DR, and we're in Punta Cana right now. We came here for the Soul Fest, which was a lot of fun. So much fun. So many great people. My first Soul Fest. Mm -hmm. My second. I went to the one in Cabo, but this one was really, really good. And don't worry. We understand it's a festival. We lived with our masks on, so yeah. we... Definitely understand we're in a pandemic and we made sure that we stayed as safe as possible and we took COVID tests today and yeah, we're good. So. And we're good. <laughs> so I get okay. to come back home. <laughs> Can't wait to tell you guys about our trip. We're gonna make a stop in Fort Lauderdale. She's smiling with her <laughs> eyes. Sante's dropping all over the place. And I'm not getting it off. That's no, disgusting. I'm not getting it off. <laughs> so we'll see you in a few minutes. Room. 
TT is here. We just got in our room and we're ready to hit the streets. There's Sante. She's ready. So we are going to go explore a little bit and check out our hotel. We are staying at the Hard Rock Hotel. And you. Oh yeah. Not that I would, but if I wanted to. She knows she ain't gonna take no bath out here. <laughs> but this is really cool. We're coming to you live from the bathtub outside. Oh. <laughs> I like it. And we even have sweet grass shower gel. Oh. So Wait it's minute. actually like a shower. Yeah. Do we have one in our bathroom though? I hope we have a shower in the bathroom because I can't wash. We are so excited to be here. We're at the Soul Fest in Punta Cana. And we've got our cousin here. Oh, come on. Nina. Hey, girl, hey. So we're all just going to take a shower together out yes. here. Get in. Yes. <laughs> come Wendy, on, get in. Wendy's the water everybody, warm. everybody's getting in. Look, you're getting, Wendy, is the water warm? <laughs> yes, Lisa. <laughs> hey. Hey. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. performing that night and then we got to go to Zen restaurant which was so good the, um, and it's hibachi mm -hmm. which hibachi you can't really just go wrong with hibachi no. and a little flaming onion yeah <laughs> Nicole and I um, at this restaurant sitting around the hibachi um, grill. Grill. Some other people showed up and yeah. we got to get to know them pretty well. Super cool people. Yes. Um, even exchanged numbers and had long conversations. I mean, everybody was just so, that's how it was. Really, just everybody that you met, you connected with in some type of way. It, you know, even if it wasn't on the festival level, it was like a, hey, where are you from? Oh, have you ever been here? Mm -hmm. Just, I genuinely loved meeting. If I could have gone around and met every single person here, I really would have. She would. And I think I did. Yeah. But <laughs> she's got so many new friends. I do. <laughs> I got numbers in my phone. 
that uh, of people, just random people, I'll probably never see again in life, but I will definitely text them. And I will text, if you're watching, just know that you will receive a text from me and I'm the one that will text and check on you. And She is. Yeah. She is so very good about I that. I will make sure I keep in touch and follow up. Now, the concert, we didn't get a chance to see that <coughs> because our um, dinner was... Reservations. This, yeah, dinner reservations were at that time. But Eric Benet, boy, oh boy. Wait, let me do my thing. <laughs> he was really, really good. He was. And fun like, to watch. But let me tell y'all something. Hold on. Hold everything. We have been sleeping on Eric Benet. Yes. Like, I know his early stuff was good, but this man as a performer... Yeah. And he's so, not bad to look at either. So Eric Benet, I, I think you're married, but if you ever get oh, yeah. divorced. Is it, did he say he's married? I think he is married, but you know what? Just look me up. Shoot. Well, <laughs> Jonathan Benet or Edwin Benet, some, one of Eric's people. Like, look at her. Look at this. Look. What is that? Yeah, so. Check me out. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding, though. But that was a really, really fun night. <laughs> <laughs> so the second night, we got to, well, actually, second day, we went Scooby Doo. Oh, that's what I call it. But it's called Scuba. <laughs> Scuba Doo. And it's like Ooh, a. Wait, can I, can I back you up a little bit? Yes. So before we. Came on this trip, we have been looking at videos, YouTubes, looking this up, this scuba do, right? And I have been so excited about this. We talked mm -hmm. about this the whole time. Every time we talked about it, I would be like, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I cannot wait. I'm going to do it because it's so cool. I don't wanna give too much of what it is because I want you guys to see it. And then I'll tell the rest of my story. Okay, so we're up early this morning and really early. Really early. <laughs> and we're getting ready to go underwater scootering. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Yep. Yes. Good. But we're gonna call it Scooby Doo because that's my favorite <laughs> show. <laughs> so we're excited about this trip and um, well this excursion. And we're looking forward to it. Yes. Not sure what to expect. This is Sante's first underwater experience. My chest is tight, heavy, but I'm very excited. And just say a quick prayer for us, because I did. <laughs> She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Now we just got to get there. They're telling us to meet us outside the hotel. It's kind of sketchy, but... At least we're together. We're together as one. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> so we're out here and we're getting ready to go on our excursion and we're going to go scuba do scuba do in scuba do in scuba do well we're going scuba do yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are here waiting for our ride show our surroundings this, we're outside of the resort which is kind of <laughs> scary but <laughs> hopefully we won't get sex trafficking <laughs> I've watched too many criminal minds oh my god that's hilarious oh there's a school bus on the side yeah a school bus <laughs> So, we were about to go underwater scootering, mm -hmm. and yeah. um, I think this is going to be a great adventure. Sante's first time in the ocean. And her chest is tight already this morning. I don't have asthma, guys. It's just tight. <laughs> the thought of going under. Hopefully, you get to see all of the fun things with me. Definitely. Experiences with me. I'm going to have the camera on her the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. Tied my braids up so the fish don't think they're worms. And 
One, two, three, let's go. All right, two tears, we're out. <laughs> You a paparazzi? Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I yes. She's got this, but 
I just want to say Scuba Doo was the best experience ever. It when you come to the DR, make sure you look it up. And the people are friendly. Yeah, they're very, very helpful. Very supportive. Our whole yeah, this whole group is supportive. Um, I would do it again. Uh, the scooter's slow though. That's what that's what they said. Yeah, yeah. slow. I wish it was kind of like a speedier scooter, but you know it's all right. He told the people this is not a Bugatti, a Ferrari. It's a scooter. Scooter bike. It's a scooter bike. <laughs> Literally. So, two cheers, we out. And I can't wait to see what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
I do too. <laughs> we can't get fired. <laughs> This. And I'm pretty sure wherever they put us would not be as nice as this place. And definitely not. <laughs> so, doing some compound somewhere. Yes, they put us back in the outhouses. Right, right. And all that <laughs> coughing and stuff. So, um, needless to say, she's fine. She tested negative. I was about to say she tested positive, but she did test <laughs> negative. Um, positively negative. Yes, positively, positively negative. Positively negative. Yes. Um. So um, then after that, we went back to the beach, of course, but um, yes. oh. we laid out the whole entire day. Oh my gosh. And then so we wonderful. went and enjoyed our concert with Music Soul Child and Erica. Oh my gosh, Erica. She puts on a show. I got a girl crush. Yeah, that girl is. Something else. Y'all want to hear me say some Erica? <clears throat> I'm just playing. Oh, wait! <laughs> <laughs> to get your hustle on so I pray I really don't know the other words to that because I don't think it said brother tell me what to do but that was, that was awesome yeah. that was great <laughs> I can't sing so I'm not even <laughs> I can't <laughs> <attempt>. <laughs> I can do those runs. <laughs> oh my gosh, the runs! That... <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh! I hope you enjoyed our video. Yes. And the dr, we can't wait to get back. Maybe one day, or you know. Just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here thinking like, dang, I probably should have sang something with real words because I don't think that was a real thing. I'll have to watch no, this I again. Think, I think it was real. No, I don't think I sang the right thing. Yeah. I don't need nobody coming for me. I think it was oh, real. Okay. I'm going to try something. Because, I mean, I was listening and I was like, I don't think it's right. It's wrong. I think it's right. Wait, wait, say that again. Say it louder. Okay, so once we arrived in Punta Cana, of course, you know, you go through immigration and stuff. Well, our cousin got us a driver to um, get to the hotel. Yeah, so just back up. It was me, Nicole and I um, came together and then we met uh, our cousin here. She met us here. And so um, our driver, it was quite weird because just know that when you get here, um, not that many people speak English mm -hmm. very fluently. So we were having a hard time trying to translate between us. We were using Google Translate, couldn't <laughs> Google because our phones wouldn't work. So <laughs> there was just a language barrier, but I mean, everybody was really sweet. Very, very nice. We were, we were in between Google Translate and Spanish one. Yes. <laughs> Hola. Donde it is. <laughs> Como estas? 
But we had hola down. So thank you, Spanish teacher, because that was really helpful. Say it with a smile. Everybody is really, really nice. Yes. So because there's a language barrier, our driver had some issues with us. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Um, so we didn't know about we, because we're spoiled Americans, we just assume that everybody speaks English. So we get in the car and we're like, and, and my cousin says, hey, can you take us to our hotel that we're uh, checking into, even though we were here a day early. She's like, can you take us to the hotel that we're supposed to check into tomorrow just so we can see if we can check in and then take us to another hotel. That's a lot of words for somebody who doesn't speak English. Yes. So we didn't know. He looks like us. We get in the car and she says all of this and he goes, I'm sorry, I don't speak English very well, but he said that in his language, but I know that's what he said because the look on his face was like, what in the world? So my cousin pulls up Google Translate. Nicole and I are trying to pull up Google Translate. We don't have internet phones. The, the internet service didn't work for some reason. Work. So thankfully, we didn't get kidnapped because we wouldn't have been able to call anybody. <laughs> Somebody but, to get me. And who would want me? So <laughs> she Google translates. Instead of letting it speak for her, she's like, Kieres Itua Adonde in Girl, just hit the thing to let it speak to tell you or to speak to him so that he can speak back or something. So that was pretty funny. Um, so he takes us to the hotel and um, we're trying to get our stuff set for the Hard Rock because we're not going to stay there that night. But it took us an hour, an and hour and a half to get back to the car. We get back to the front of the hotel. The guy is gone. So we're thinking all of our luggage is gone. Everything's because gone. Because we asked him to wait for us yeah. while we went inside of the hotel to try and straighten all of this stuff out, we didn't realize being that it's a soul fest, lines are everywhere. So he's outside, we're thinking it's gonna be a short wait. An hour and a half later, we come out and no luggage, no car, no driver who doesn't speak English, nobody. And I was like, oh my gosh, we have nothing. Everything's gone, everything. We had our passports on us though, but. but. Yeah. So we finally get in touch with him. He comes back and gets us. Thank the Lord. Mm -hmm. And so then we're heading back. Well, we're heading out and we're going to the Marriott. So we, as we're driving to the Marriott though, excuse me, Marriott, Marriott, Marriott. We get to this, this area and there's like a little roundabout and he goes, Marriott or Marriott? We're like, the Marriott. The Marriott. What I mean, yes. So he goes, Marriott. And we're like, yeah, yeah, Marriott, that's fine. So he goes, and then he turns and makes his lift. And then that's when we find out we're at the Marriott, that there's a difference, just one letter difference. Marriott, Marriott. So we end up at this beautiful hotel. Oh my gosh. I it had like a zen feeling, like it was just the cool. energy was so nice and it was water you just hear the sounds of water and and woodwind instruments and it was just so peaceful like just tranquil i really it really was then I yes know, let's say it was and so we get there and we're like oh wow this marriott is whoa yes. we're like we're about we, to be doing yoga yeah. in the morning and everything <laughs> so the marriott was not even the marriott it was the marriott just as he told us it would be the Marriott. But we said the Marriott. <laughs> <laughs> so he drops us off. We're just sitting there and they go, you're not supposed to be here. We don't have you on our list. And we were like, this is the Marriott, right? No, this is the Marriott. And we we're like, you've got to be kidding me. We we're like, oh, so the driver's gone. We are standing at this strange hotel with our luggage and we at this point don't know what to do because the driver told us he was already upset with us because we made him wait an hour and a half. So he told us, pretty sure this is what he said, um, 
I'm not taking you anywhere else. Just to the Marriott. Okay, that's where we want to go anyway. Yeah. So we're standing there with our luggage. The people at the Marriott are like, you got to call a taxi because we can't help you get to the Marriott. Excuse me. And so we have to call the driver back. After he told us in his language, he ain't taking us nowhere else. There's nowhere else. <laughs> he came back. He did come back. He was reluctantly dead. came back. Yes, I'm sure there were all kinds of words that we don't know. That he probably called us. Yeah, pretty sure. So then the next day we had to get from our the Marriott. Well, we finally, you forgot to say, we finally made it to the Marriott. Oh yeah, we finally made it there. So mm -hmm. now we're trying to get back to the hard rock. <laughs> and so our cousin, she was like, yeah, girl, they're supposed to give us a Cadillac Escalade. Yeah, because I mean, you got to show up. Well, yeah, we were, we stunned. She, yeah, she was basically, and it's okay because we've all been, we've been cute all weekend and we were like, ooh, we got all these people at the hotel. It's about to be on. Let's pull up cute. And we appreciate it because yes. she didn't have to do that. So she didn't have to let us so ride with her. That was yes, very thank awesome. Thank you. <laughs> um, so she said, well, I have a black Escalade. Black Escalade, right? Yes. I have a black Escalade coming to the hotel to pick us up. So we're all sitting at the hotel like this. Okay, black Escalade, you know. Because Nicole and I would have probably just we would have Uber. Uber. <laughs> We've been on three on the motorcycle. Right? Yes. <laughs> We've seen that, by the way. Yeah. But, um, so we're waiting and waiting for the driver. We don't see anybody. And all these different cars are pulling up. And all of a sudden, That's we really see well. the front of this car come into the window's view. And it just keeps going and going. The front is still in view, but the back is long and long. It goes, this is the longest limo you have ever seen in your life. I swear it was like a 1970s limo. It was awful. Yes. It, I mean, I hate to say that, but we are, I guess we're spoiled Americans. Absolutely. But Absolutely. We, we were not expecting a limo. So us, in our natural form, as the limo was pulling up, we're like this. Girl, who got this old limo? No, man. Oh, they're reaching. They're doing the most. And all of a sudden, the driver gets out of the car. Has our cousin's name on it. There's a sign with her name on it. She goes, uh-uh. No, it's not. That is not for us. And Nicole and I, we were dying. Got dying. to see the pictures. I don't have video of us. But I do have pictures and we the, were, oh my gosh. We were, the look on her face. So the limo, first, it was just the old limo. Like, like when it would rise, it was like, <laughs> and the little guy, bless his heart. And, and uh, we're, we are so appreciative of everything that they try to do for us here at the DR. Mm -hmm. Um, he was so excited. Like, he came out and he was, like, so excited that, to put us in the limo. Like, you know, like, ooh. And we were looking like, the top of this limo has psoriasis. <laughs> and, like, the hood. Or what do you call yeah, it? Yeah, the, 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 the hood. The, was, not the hood. Yeah, it was flaky. The hood is the front part of the car. Oh, the, the, the roof. The roof of the car. Yeah, okay. it had psoriasis really, really bad. And... When we get inside, it had like the DVD players. Oh, yeah. He was like, oh, you can put your Bluetooth Ooh, in. It even had an ashtray. Like the oh, metal what? ashtray that's in the door. <laughs> When's the last time you seen an ashtray? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> an ashtray? All right, whatever. But um, so we are in the limo and everybody's trying to think of their exit strategy, right? Because once we get back to the hotel that we are supposed to be staying at. At Hard Rock. Because it's a festival, everybody's standing everywhere. So we know pulling into the Hard Rock, people are going to be standing outside. Lots of people standing outside, looking, waiting, you know, getting, off of, getting off of their, yeah, their buses and things like that. And here we come around the corner. And so everybody's planning their exit strategy. Nisi was like, I'm just walking away. Nicole, dying laughing. She couldn't even do anything. I couldn't even do anything. Me, I was like, 
I'm just gonna let myself out. I'm not gonna... She was on the opposite side. Yes, so, so I, I was. Were on the opposite yeah, side. so I was on the side where the most of the people were gonna be. Yes, she was on the yes, other side. Yes, so my plan. We were just gonna all jump out that yes, side and yes. pretend like we arrived in something else. Yeah. But see, I knew he was going to come around and open Nicole, Nicole's door first because they always come around to that side and open the door. So my plan, in my mind, it worked like this. He was going around to open Nicole's door. Me, I'm jumping out the car and I'm running yeah. while he's letting Nicole out. <laughs> no, because I was going to jump out the car with you. <laughs> he was going to open that door and not see anybody. <laughs> but the plan failed. Oh my God. It was an epic fail. We couldn't get the door open. They had locked us in. Yes, we were locked in. So Nisi goes, hurry. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. No, go. Okay, so she goes, hurry, hurry, open the door, open the door. And I'm like trying to get out. And I'm like pulling on this. Yeah, when well, you can hold the doorknob, I mean the door handle with two hands. Yeah. It's an old limo. So I'm pulling on the door handle trying to get out. I was like, oh my gosh, it's locked. People are pulling up. And Nisi was like, uh, unlock it, unlock it. So I'm trying to find how you unlock one of these cars and it's not the kind that has the little pull-up thing in the door, but it's the kind, I don't know I don't even know where the lock was, but needless to say, no, I didn't get out. The next thing we see is the door fly open on the cold side. Welcome to your new home! And I was like, and it was very oh. loud because he was excited. He was like, welcome to your new home! Which means Everybody's gonna turn around and be like, so my cousin, she like I don't a, even know where she yeah, went. She like, disappeared really she, quick. She did like a like a magic trick. She was gone. She was like, Poof. Nicole like, and I, we, we tried. No, we tried to walk away. And the guy's like, hey, hey, senoritas, come here, come here. You've got to get your luggage. And so we were just like, okay. And he did it right next to the limo. <laughs> so the good thing is not that many people were out. Not there. that many people were out. As he was pulling off and we were already in the building, a nice sized shuttle bus pulled up and started okay. letting people off. Yeah. So that would have been embarrassing. But we survived that. And again, thank you, DR Punta Cana, because yes. Every you guys were so nice. Hospitality was yes. a one. We appreciate the limo. Thank you to Nisi. Thank you to the Dominican Republic for upgrading us to that. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. Yes, we do. Memories that will last a lifetime. Memories definitely made. <laughs>